Hey guys, Sergeant Mushroom here for you with another Out of the Park Developments tutorial. Today we are going to be going over the challenge mode in Out of the Park Baseball. So this button pops up every time you start up a new game regardless of which mode you're doing. And it'll be the very first thing you see. It's going to ask you if you would like to play in challenge mode. It explains what challenge mode is under the pop-up. But I'm going to go a little bit more in depth to it today. So the first thing is the rewards which I'll go over really quickly. First of all, you're going to be able to have your data recorded from challenge mode under your account information, which will be available for you to find later if you like and also show off. Additionally, you can occasionally get perfect packs from uh, getting achievements in challenge mode, which will be then applicable in perfect team. These are rare, but they are a bonus. So if that is something that interests you, you may want to consider using challenge mode. Now we're going to spend the rest of the video going over exactly what the restrictions are that it explains partly here under the challenge mode differs from the classic OTP experience in the following ways description. So we're going to start under the global settings area and with the disabling scouting option. So this is not something you'll have available to you in classic out of the park baseball where you can Disable the scouting button by uh, clicking the enable scouting button right over here that I have circled. Uh, this means that essentially if you do click this option, you will not need a scouting director and all players will be at 100% accuracy for you. You cannot change the scouting accuracy to high, very high, or 100%. Either it can only be extremely low, low, or normal. Additionally, you cannot under the uh, global actions button add new leagues to the game which essentially means you're stuck with whatever leagues you have when you boot up the game so if you have a live league that'll mean you just have your major league and whatever international leagues you set up you cannot disable injuries under the injury page here which basically means that your players are going to have to get hurt you also cannot adjust the injury rate to extremely low very low or low as well as very high you can only have it set to normal or high you cannot adjust fatigue rates so it's going to be set at normal you cannot adjust suspension rates which means that players are also going to get suspended at a normal rate you cannot disable player development meaning that players will have their ratings constantly changing you cannot adjust the ai's player evaluation numbers which are essentially going to just tell you how the AI will evaluate players based on their current statistics, their previous year's statistics, their two-year ago statistics, and of course also their ratings. You cannot adjust the trade difficulty slider to certain points along the way. It's only going to be available every other point. While this isn't really going to affect your play too much, it's going to be a little bit restrictive on what options you have available to you, which is something you'll want to keep in mind when you're setting it up. You cannot adjust trading preference um, to heavily favor veterans, favor veterans, uh, or any kind of veteran prospect thing. It's going to be set at neutral. You cannot manually expand your league. You will have to do it automatically if you want it to expand via the uh, automatically adjust league with the expansion setting clicked. You cannot add feeder leagues under your league settings option or league action op button which essentially means that your draft is going to be completely randomized with players you have never seen before. Uh, you cannot change most financial settings. I'm not going to go too in-depth into them because there are so many things here. There will be other videos to explain each setting, but uh, basically you're not going to be able to do too much with your financials. You cannot adjust player creation modifiers. These are going to affect how your uh, player creation is going to look like. Um, generally speaking, it's not really going to affect your game too much immediately. It's more going to affect what generated players going forwards will look like. You cannot adjust your league totals or player modifiers. Those will affect how your players play out in uh, actual uh, playthrough. You cannot adjust country quality, which is under explore world, clicking an individual country and then adjusting it. So players from each country are created of a quality according to how effective their baseball education is. While this is something you could fiddle around with outside of challenge mode to see if you can get some countries uh, better or worse with their player development, you can't do that inside of challenge mode. 
you cannot change your manager role. So essentially, if you start out as a GM only, you can't change to a GM and manager or manager only and uh, other ways along that line. You're going to be stuck with whatever you selected at the beginning. You cannot give your lineups and depth charts, pitching staff, roster use, transactions, or trade options to other staff members. You will have to control those all manually. You can only simulate up to a week at a time, meaning that you can't just blow through a whole season at once. You cannot enable commissioner mode. You cannot view everything in the player editor page. Those are going to be more limited outside of what you could see uh, outside challenge mode. You cannot actually edit players in editor mode either. You cannot edit financials, so your financial settings are going to have to change manually, or automatically rather, and you cannot modify part factors either. So that's going to be pretty much it for this challenge mode. There are a couple other things. Um, something that comes to mind is you can force yourself into a job position outside of challenge mode. You can't do that inside of challenge mode. But uh, that's going to pretty much do it for this. I hope this video was helpful to everyone here, and I'll see you guys on the next one.